Hey everyone, and yeah, welcome back to the next video here of a little uh, garage building mini series. Uh, this one, what we're going to be doing is putting on the sheathing, and this is going to be, uh, I think, it's something fun because uh, I won't be using the regular just OSB. I've seen the, uh, a lot of people use the, uh, the zip system, uh, but that stuff uh, I can't find here uh, anywhere locally. So, what I do have is behind me what I'm sitting on is it's uh, force field. Uh, OSB water, what is this, water barrier? Let me show you what that looks like. Yeah, so it's the uh, force field water barrier system. And it's pretty, it looks like a pretty uh, neat system here. Look on the edges here. Kind of has like a little uh, membrane already already uh, built into it. So it's kind of like a little plasticky membrane that's on top of it. Try to get here where it's kind of like a little, little peeled off there. But that stuff, and then what you put on top of it, we have a uh, a, a tape. We have a tape, kind of like for the uh, zip system, but this stuff is made for the, the force field OSB. So I haven't used this before, but excited to use it. So let's go put it on and see what happens. So next wall went up. That was nice and easy. Kind of want to do a little little detail on the stuff here. Um, yeah, for the edges here, we recommend doing a eighth inch there. I just have a little framing nail, stick it in there to get my little gap there. And then with the tape here, it's it's real easy stuff. It's just like some kind of like packing tape almost. That's what it feels like. But it's a nice sunny day today, so we can do it on easy and not like the. Uh, zip system this stuff you don't have to roll it it's just sticky enough you just place it on don't have to roll it and yeah goes on goes on easy a lot comes on this little little roll here to do this whole building she only needs about two rolls and then when I go up here to the roof I'm using the same product but it uses a, a little bit different tape so it's it's like a thousand degrees out here today so I'm gonna go and get this finished up so I can get out of the sun Well, that was a lot of work, but not as bad as I thought. Using this uh, OSB here definitely saved a, a lot of time because it has that, that membrane on it, so now I don't have to go and put on the uh, house wrap or anything like that. All I did is off camera I went and put the, uh, the tape on there to get the edges sealed up and had the doors all cut out. But yeah, inside looks about the same. Everything's all done here, all the way around. And next, just getting the, the roof put on here so I can get these uh, these rafters cut out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, see what else I can get done today well 
All right, so I want this uh, roof line here to kind of match the uh, the house. So I have um, have that first little, little cut right there lined out. Uh, luckily last year, I didn't throw my template away for building the uh, roof on this house. So found again, I'll uh, be able to use it again and just trace everything onto the wood here. So I'm gonna cut the bottom side out and then I'll put it up there and go to the top side and mark where that notch needs to be cut out. And then uh, once I know it's a good fit, I can bring it down and cut the rest of them. Well, I was able to get about half these rafters done here and this big storm came in with a lot of lightning and stuff. So I had to take a little, little break and uh, now the power went out. So I was using the uh, little jigsaw to cut these notches out, but I'll probably have to use the uh, circular saw. But anyways, what you saw me do before is I used that little uh, template I had from the old house and cut the ends out there and put it up here and put it all the way to the top there, made my marks so I know where to cut it there. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's the marks I have cut out. It's pretty simple and made it the right length that I want it and made a template out of that one and I've just been cutting and cutting and I uh, got about half them done so real easy to do so I'm gonna go ahead and get up there and put these up and see how far I get and hopefully the power comes back on so I can get the rest of these cut All right, up here on the roof. I didn't film the part of getting this uh, sheathing up here. It's uh, pretty hot today. I think it's like a heat wave today, so I was trying to get this done as quick as I can. But yeah, got this up here. And yes, this force field barrier, you can use this on the roof. All the thing you have to do is change to the premium tape, which is made for the roofs here. So all I have to do is go ahead and seal these seams up. And I'll probably go on the edges if I have enough tape. And this will be done and I can get off this hot roof and we can move on to the next step. Well, this building is all closed in. Have the walls done, the roof is done, got the uh, joints taped up here with this stuff, and yellow stuff is sort of the uh, roof here. That's all done. Everything's all closed in and happy about that because it's been a, a heat wave here for a few days and it's been kind of miserable to work out there. But I think one thing that's worse than working in the heat is putting the house wrap on. I hate that stuff. So I'm happy with this stuff. It has the this membrane on it so I don't have to put the house wrap on. Just put the OSB up, the tape, and I'm all good to go. So next thing I have to wait for is the uh, siding to come and trim doors and windows and shingles. I'll get that stuff put up and that'll be a pretty quick process but that'll still be a few days before that gets here and before that gets here I have my next big project to start on so I'm gonna go start on that before it gets too hot today again so anyways thanks for watching this video uh, there'll be another one uh, in this series in a few days so keep looking out for that one 
And if you have any questions or anything like that or comments, leave them below and I'll get to them. Thanks.